everybody welcome back to the shop today today's gonna be a really quick video but i wanted to make it um, because it's a mistake that i've made in the past so yeah let's show you how to check the oil on your drz so first things first your oil dipstick tube is right here all right so uh, not long after i had the bike uh took it out rode it obviously knew it was, it was full on oil brand new bike um decided to pull the dipstick out and just check it your dipstick might look a little bit different than this. Went to check it and nothing. There's no oil on it whatsoever. It's completely bone dry and I panicked, I freaked out. So I got that dipstick, there's nothing on it, it's bone dry. When I saw that, I freaked out. My heart stopped, I thought, holy shit. I didn't ruin the engine on this new bike because it doesn't have any oil in it. Started looking for leaks. No leaks. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Well, decided to crack the owner's manual open. Look what I found. So it says right here in the owner's manual, the engine oil tank and this motorcycle is located in the upper part of the frame, which we already knew that. The engine oil in the frame oil tank decreases when the engine is left unused. So all this oil inside of this uh, frame here, the level actually decreases when we're not using the bike. So that way when you put your dipstick in it and check it, it, it comes up false. So the right way to check it is to get it warm and you want to run it for about three minutes. Now that the bike's been warmed up, you want to pull it off, you want to wipe it off, and I can already see that there's oil on there. Now when you put this down in there to check it, you don't want to put it in and screw it all the way in. That's going to skew your level. You want to just go until the top of the threads touch, and then pull it out and check your level. Put it into our threads touch. You want to keep the dipstick facing down. Sorry, hope I can see that there. And this is your upper level. That's your lower level. That's your middle mark. You want to be in between. And I'm right at the upper level on the full mark. So I do know that your factory dipstick is going to be a little bit different. Um, this one does match though. I lined it right up with a factory one. So that's upper halfway point and that's your low level. So you want to be in between your halfway point and your full level somewhere but uh i like to keep it towards the upper end just to make sure everything is properly lubricated once your oil level is all good and if you need to top any off good time to do it go ahead and top it off pop your cap back on you're good to go now of course you do want to make sure that your bike is on a level surface mine is on this little motorcycle stand here so everything's nice and level uh anything not level will give you an inconsistent reading and i know this might seem like um, a video that's kind of irrelevant but if you are new to a motorcycle that stores the oil in the frame like me, you pull that dipstick out and see nothing on it, I almost had a heart attack. So before you freak out, you pull your dipstick, there's nothing on it, let that warm up for two or three minutes and then check it. Then if it's low, uh, top it off accordingly. But yeah, hopefully this helps somebody out there. As always, I appreciate everybody for watching. Until next time, thank you. Take care. Let my dick. I pulled my dick stick out. Fuck. Pulled out my dick, my pulled. Fuck me. Mm. Show you how to change 